<laughs> Hi there, ladies and gents. Um, so I'm experiencing a bug with my playthrough of Fallout 4 that I don't know if anyone else is experiencing, but what happened is, you know, earlier in my playthrough when assigning settlers to their tasks, I had a random issue where every single settler in my, uh, in my settlement was unassigned. It just, they just became unassigned. It used to happen to me quite a bit, but for some reason it hasn't happened in a long time. And, um, it happened in Bunker Hill. Now the problem is that in Bunker Hill, you have special NPC merchants that only man their own shop. And what happened is they became unassigned from their own shop, and there's no in-game functionality to reassign them back to their shop. Incidentally, this same bug sometimes happens with the um, Minuteman radio operator in the castle. So it's it's just an, another annoying Bethesda b bug, and I finally found a fix. And I'm going to show you how to do it really quick with the two restaurant merchants in Bunker Hill. So first, let's find Joe. So I have his uh, reference ID, and to find him, you go prid zero 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 one nine nine eight four that selects him and then you go move to player hi Joe all right now watch what happens if you open up the the uh, workshop and you hover over him you don't have the option to actually command him so we need to make him commandable so we've got him selected And we choose set PV commandable true. Be commandable true. Now, wait, actually, I think that was the wrong one. Yeah, it's still not working. So that was the wrong one. It was something else I tried. Um, yeah, there it is. Add keyword workshop allow command. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. It's add keyword space workshop allow command all one word. Press enter. Now he should be commandable. That's right, so now he's commandable, but watch what happens when you actually try to assign him to the shop that he previously used to run. Nothing. Nothing's happened. So, let's... Um, we gotta fix this. Oh wait, no, it worked. Oh, it worked. All right, so let's try Tony. Uh, I had to do a, another console command to actually get the workshop to work for Deb. So first, let's try Tony. Okay, so Tony, his son, has a ref ID. So let's select him. Prid. Ref ID zero zero zero. 5F D2F He's now selected move to player Where are you there you are all right, so he cannot be commanded so now we need to make Set PV be commandable no 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 that, that's right it was add keyword workshop allow command Great, and now we can command him. Let's see if we can if we can put him back in his shop. This resource cannot be assigned to this NPC. Okay, that's the error I got in the past. Now, just to make things easier for poor Tony, who's trying to get to his shop, I'm going to store all these stools. I didn't like them anyway. There you go. Sorry, Tony. Okay, so now we have to fix this shop. To do so, you need to select it and type in the word set papyrus var space b allow player assignment space true. Ugh. All right, where are you, Tony? So now. This resource is now assigned. He finally goes back to his shop. Ah, oh, 
And now I can actually purchase from both of these bartenders like I used to. Back in the good old days. Talk to me, Joe. Hey there. Don't be shy. You don't order fast. We won't have much booze left. Let's see what you have. Make it snappy. Other customers are waiting. Okay, Mr. Rude Guy. Great. Uh, nothing there. Let's see if it worked for Tony. <clears throat> Fine place to sleep right here. Reasonable rate. No, not interested. Might want to hit Paul for a drink before you go. And there we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's how it works. I know that if you're not on a PC, that this is just going to frustrate you. And I'm sorry you're having to deal with that. The game has all sorts of weird, crazy glitches that Bethesda just didn't take care of, including this one. Uh, just as a quick recap, sometimes if your settlement is very large, the game will just randomly unassign all of your settlers from their tasks. And when that happens, sometimes NPCs, that special NPCs that come with your settlements, will become unassigned from their tasks, and there's no way to reassign them without using the console. So I just shared with you the console commands necessary. I hope that helps. Thanks again for watching.